Apple's final release, the long anticipated iPhone 12 series and I've got a lot of information for you. But before we start, if you're new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Leave a comment below, I subscribe. Here's everything we know about Apple's upcoming 2020 iPhones, likely to be called the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. Apple will unveil new iPhones and this round of features of the rumors that we've heard about the upcoming devices so far. The new iPhone 12 release date is expected on October 13, 2020. Apple has announced a media event on that day called High Speed. We are getting close to the launch of the 2020 iPhones, which are expected to be announced on October 13, 2020, but there are already dozens of rumors about the upcoming devices. However, we are expecting the 2020 iPhones to be called the new iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro if Apple follows the same naming scheme it used for the 2019 iPhone lineup. The 2020 iPhone will feature major updates introducing some of the first design changes that we've seen since the iPhone X was released in 2017. We're expecting four iPhones in three display sizes which could come in at 5.4, 6.7 and 6.1 inches. This summary video shows the 10 things you should know about the iPhone 12. At a rumored 5.4 inches, the 2020 iPhone 12 mini will be the smallest iPhone Apple has released since the 4.7 inch iPhone SE. At 6.7 inches, the 2020 iPhone 12 Pro Max will be Apple's largest iPhone to date, topping the 6.5 inch iPhone 11 Pro Max. The two 6.1 inch models will be similar in size to the existing iPhone 11. All iPhones in 2020 are expected to feature OL. ED Super Retina XDR display technology regardless of price. There, are, there were early rumors that the iPhone 12 Pro models could support 120 hours refresh rate, but more recently, info indicates Apple will wait until 2020 to unveil that feature. Design-wise, rumors suggest the new iPhones coming in 2020 will feature a significant redesign with a metal frame that's similar to the frame of the iPhone 4 or the iPad Pro. The iPhone 4 had a distinctive flat look for its stainless steel frame, which will be replicated in the new iPhones, bringing the design in line with the 2020 iPad Pro model. There were rumors that Apple would use a new true depth camera system that cuts down on the size of the notch on the front, but leaks are mixed on this subject and it appears there will be a smaller notch on the 5.4 inch model while the other models will have a notch that's the same size. It is believed that the 6.7 inch iPhone and one 6.1 inch model will be higher end devices with triple lens cameras while the 5.4 and 6.1 inch models will be lower end iPhones with dual lens cameras and a more affordable price tag. There are also rumors of a 3D triple lens rear camera system that uses a laser to calculate depth information for objects in the room, improving both photography and AR capabilities. This is likely to be similar to the LiDAR scanner in the 2020 iPad Pro and it appears it will be limited to the higher end 6.7 inch iPhone model. 2020 will be the first year that Apple introduces 5G support in the iPhone, allowing the new devices to connect to 5G network that are much faster than 4G LTE network. According to rumors, all of the iPhones in the iPhone 12 lineup will feature 5G connectivity, though it's not yet clear if all the iPhone 12 models would have super fast MM wave support and reports suggest mm wave speed could be limited to certain countries the iphone 12 models coming in 2020 will use an apple designed 5 nanometer a14 chip manufactured by tsmc the a14 chip is expected to bring both speed and efficiency improvement that could bring small gains in battery life to compensate for 5g which uses additional battery Rumors have suggested that Apple has no plan to include a power adapter or AirPod in the box with the iPhone 12 models, letting the company to cut down on production costs and packaging. Instead, Apple may offer a 20W power adapter that can be purchased separately. The USB Type-C to Lightning cable could get an upgrade, though with rumors indicating Apple plans to offer a new braided cable design. 
This year's iPhone 12 models will not be shipped out in September as usual due to delays caused by the global health crisis. Apple instead plans to introduce the iPhones in October at an event that's set to be held on October 13. Rumors have suggested we can expect a staggered release. So while new iPhones are coming in October, some models will not be coming until November. As Apple announced during its July earnings call, the 2020 iPhone 12 models are coming a few weeks later than usual, marking the first time that Apple has introduced new iPhone models in October. In addition to a delayed October unveiling, there have been multiple rumors indicating that the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro models will launch at different times due to production problems and delays. Apple in June 2020 registered 9 unreleased iPhone models in the European Economic Commission database with the following models identifier A2176, A2172, A2341, A2342, A2399, A2403, A2407, A2408 and the A2411. Apple is required to register encrypted devices with the ECC ahead of release in order for them to be sold in America, Belarus, Kazakhstan and Russia. Apple's iPhone naming plans have been confusing ever since the iPhone 8 debuted alongside the iPhone X in 2017, skipping the iPhone 9 entirely. Apple continued with the confusing naming scheme in 2018 with the iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max and XR, but things became clearer in 2019 with the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max. Apple previously did a numerical increase and then an SEA, but because the changes expected in 2020 are so significant, it is unlikely that we are going to get an iPhone 11S or similar and much more likely that we are going to see an iPhone 12. If the lower end follow up to the iPhone 11 is named the iPhone 12 which is what we will be calling it, then we can expect the two higher end devices that are coming in 2020 to be the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. More so, Apple is planning to offer four iPhones in three different sizes in 2020 with Apple introducing new sizes for the first time in a few years. Rumors indicate we will see a 5.4 inch iPhone, a 6.7 inch iPhone and two 6.1 inch iPhones. 5.4 inches is smaller than the current iPhone 11 Pro while 6.7 inches is bigger than the current iPhone 11 Pro Max. Rumors suggest the iPhone 5 4.4 inch device will be close to identical size to the iPhone 8. One 6.1 inch model and the 6.7 inch model will be higher end pro iPhones while the other 6.1 inch iPhone and the 5.4 inch iPhone will be lower end models and successors to the iPhone 11. Thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Please kindly subscribe.